Hi Scorpio, welcome to your weekly reading for May 6th through the 12th. I'm going to be taking a look at your immediate past, present, future, pulling some advice for you as well as the outcome. This is general. It may not resonate for everyone. If it does, go ahead and hit that like button. If you haven't already, subscribe to my channel as it helps me to pick up on your energy for all future reads. Please remember that time is fluid, so this could be something that happened in your past. Currently in your present or coming up in your future, roles can be reversed. So take what applies to you, the person on your mind, your situation and leave the rest. At the end of your reading, I will be pulling an oracle message from the Sacred Traveler Oracle deck to give us some more insight, guidance, and clarification on your situation. So with that being said, we're going to go ahead and jump right in. And before we do, I just want to thank everybody for being so patient for me to get this reading out for you. I really wanted to yesterday, but I could not do a reading to save myself. And I just did not want to give you half of, you know, what you're looking for. I don't even think I could do half of it at the time. So I'm feeling much better rested. It's been a long week. And so I am going to get into this and um, see what's coming up for you for May 6th through the 12th. So show me Scorpio May 6th through the 12th. Okay, so in your immediate past here, we have the tower. Um, I see like a shocking situation here. You didn't expect it. It just happened out of nowhere. Um, we'll look more into it. That's more of a relationship. I do see two people here and it just looks like there's fighting and chaos and arguments and just not going well. But it also is some kind of shock that happens like having that tablecloth pulled and it did not work out the way where, you know, it's a magic trick and everything stays on the table. Everything went flying. So it was like, <gasps> Oh my gosh. Okay. Currently we have the high priestess that comes out, um, which I feel like your higher self is trying to tell you something. There's also this knowing of a certain situation. Um, but we're going to see what happens. It could also be somebody just keeping things a secret and not telling you certain things, but this is more about your higher self telling you like, you need to know everything's going to be okay, or you know how things are going to turn out. Don't you know, brush it off. So we have the Knight of Wands coming out in your immediate future here. The energy there is like, I'm going to do this. I'm going for it. I'm going to make it happen. I'm not waiting. Here I go. So yeah, acting on, uh, just being spontaneous, like being bold, like I'm going to do this right now. So <laughs> judgment card comes out for your advice. I like this. This is your energy and very much in your element here of looking at things and, um, feeling uplifted. It's almost like you're being told to look at things from a different point of view and recognize that you're not the same person you used to be in the past. You're actually letting go of the past and embracing, you know, the future here. But if things continue the way that they're going, we do have the five of cups coming out as your outcome. So that's where I'm like, eh, are you holding on to something? Because I do see, you know, hold, looking at what, you know, you, in the past you wanted didn't work out. Now this could be somebody tied up to your energy, but you know, not looking at those other cups that are right there and available. It's like, well, I want to go back to the past where, you know, I, I have this thing that didn't work out and I, how do I fix that? Um, so there's some disappointment about a particular situation, but you have other cups there that are like, Hey, look, <laughs> there's all this love for you. There's a lot here. Hmm. But now, I, like I said, could be somebody tied up to you, but let's go ahead and take a look. We're going to clarify the tower and the immediate past here. Oh, yeah. So there was this upheaval, and it just feels like... Uh, Things changed. There was nothing you could do about it. And, you know, that change 
really, whether it's with somebody or just you personally, we have the Five of Cups, the Ace of Swords, but then also the Ace of Wands that comes out in a 50-50 energy. So, you know, this is about being pushed um, to change something and it looks like you wanted something to stay the same way that it was um, here and there's disappointment about you know I want to do this but I don't know that it's going to happen and kind of losing that spark that interest um, some of you it is with a love interest others it's about your inspiration you know things that you love it's like I don't know if I can do this so um, looking at the past of how something didn't work out um, feeling the disappointment of the situation that really I created this environment for you that just felt like ugh, almost defeating. Um, there was nothing you could do. You couldn't go back and change it. It's you're like, I got to move forward. But there's something about digging your heels in and not fully wanting to. So let's go ahead and clarify the high priestess for your current situation. Wow. OK, so. Your higher self, I feel like some of you are having dreams because the moon card comes out. We have the two of cups that comes out. And the page of pentacles, as well as the tower at the bottom of the deck. Okay, so some of you recently had a dream and your higher self was trying to let you know that in that dream about someone you had a relationship or connection with, um, it it brought a lot of happy feelings for you, but it also was kind of like, what the heck was that? You know, with this tower at the bottom of the deck right here. Your higher self is trying to tell you to trust that there's something better for you and moving forward, even though you might feel like, what was this illusion? What was this dream that I had? There is the energy, if not someone of your it's soulmate or someone you really like that shows up here. Uh, Page of Pentacles is definitely saying keep learning. There's a lot that you have to learn, but the tower um, can also be beautiful things. And I see that tower as, you know, if you're pushing against what your higher self is trying to tell you and go after, then the tower's like, well, I'm just going to push you anyways. Here we go. Um, <laughs> you have no choice. Now you're here. Let's go ahead and clarify this Knight of Wands. It was very surprising. It was like eye-opening, awakening. Um, so the Knight of Wands, I love this because this is you making some bold moves here. Not the same person. Having this rebirth towards something. It's like giving something a second chance just doesn't make you feel entirely happy um, with that second chance. You're like, I'm good where I'm at though. Um, this could be somebody tied up to you. You know, if this was somebody that... I'm going to say it like this. If this was a relationship in the past that just didn't work out and it was very disappointing and moving forward into the current situation, having a dream about this person, they might reach out to you, which is very surprising to you. And you're like, what the heck? They try to come back in the immediate future here with this Knight of Wands. Like they're like, here I go. I want you. I want a second chance. But I don't see that you're interested because you're very happy and content where you are at. Um, the star at the bottom of the deck, you know, you are this person's wish fulfillment, but it's just not something that you feel is good for you. You're like, no, I'm good. I'm okay. Um, for you personally, Scorpio, this is about you feeling different and having this rebirth. And, you know, but there's this like, I don't know that I want this cat cup but it would make you happy to take it and it doesn't have to be a, a particular situation with someone this feels like something personal to you um and the star is saying there's this wish fulfillment is being presented to you and have hope that it's gonna work out instead of saying eh, i don't know if i want to give it a second chance so um let's go ahead and clarify that judgment card for your advice So the judgment card is saying that you need to make a final verdict, a final decision, um, because you're carrying around this heavy weight of trying to create balance and stability for yourself, but then you get frustrated with it, not wanting to look at it. It's like you're blocking what is meant for you to see. The Ten of Wands, the Two of Pentacles, and the Two of Swords, as well as the Knight of Swords at the bottom of the deck. Also, someone wanting a second chance with you is carrying around this heavy weight and going back and forth. You're not interested. Some of you have blocked this person already and it just frustrates them. So prepare for that person to just show up out of the blue, however they do and contact you in some way or show up literally. Um, 
But when it comes to you personally, I do see that, you know, where you're trying to find a balance, it's like it gets frustrating. You're at a crossroads and, you know, your focus is here and there and it's just like, oh, I'm frustrated. So, you know, that judgment card is saying you've got to see things as you got to make this decision. If you're going to give something a second chance, don't block it. Um, so let's go ahead and clarify the five of cups for your outcome. So this outcome, there is disappointment and stress about taking this leap of faith, which feels like, oh, um, but the, the thing is, is it's going to happen. It has to happen. You don't have a choice. You're either going to do it yourself or you're going to be pushed into, you have no choice. Here it is. Now it's being presented. It's almost like pushing back against the universe and, or what God wants for you. And then they're like, guess what? Here it is. You decided you wanted to wait, 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 and you knew it was coming. So um, five of cups is clarified by the nine of swords, the fool, and the tower. The lovers is at the bottom of the deck right here. So when it comes to somebody from your past, which I do see that, the outcome here is that they're just disappointed, stressed out that, you know, you won't allow them to come back, which causes them this repeated like shock of like, I really want Scorpio. I don't understand why we can't fix things. Um, and for you personally in a situation where there's disappointment about something not turning out the way that you want it to, that keeps stressing you out about taking a leap of faith forward, you know, and initiating like, okay, I'm going to do this. Uh, the tower saying everything's about to come crashing down in a way but it's going to end up beautifully like the lovers it's it's happening for a reason to to make you stronger in the end here scorpio so it's it's not that you're going to lose everything it's that taking this leap of faith does feel difficult um but it also brings a new relationship a new union and a lot of love and something that's more aligned with you um Ooh, it feels like difficult in a sense. I'm with you. <laughs> if I was there and we're like, okay, are you going to jump first or am I going to jump? Should we jump together? Yeah, I would be nervous as well. But, you know, this is definitely um, something that you can't, you can't avoid it. So unknown territory, you are exactly where you need to be in this unknown territory, which feels very scary at sometimes. Um, it also feels like, oh my gosh, what do I do? Do I go look left, right, straight, backwards? What do I do? The unknown territory, you're exactly where you need to be. It's beautiful. I love that this owl is in this card because this is saying you are very wise, you know, see things from above. Also see it from a bird's eye view on the ground, you know, and also make that decision. This kind of looks like uh, the the hermit, you know, here, but this wand that this person is carrying and looking around like, I don't know where I'm at or what's going on or what I should do. Um, you have a lot of wisdom and, and you're gaining that in this unknown territory. So give it a try. Uh, discovering truth. You stand in the light of truth. Ooh, I love this. It's beautiful and I love it. Um, ooh, I'm with you. I just, it's like, it makes me nervous, but at the same time, it's exciting. And you do stand in the light of truth and knowing what needs to be done or where you need to put that foot forward. Um, and rejuvenating rain, clear the past to heal the present. That's where it's going to feel like, oh, okay, why did I wait so long to do this? Um, also clearing the past so you can heal the present is going to allow you to move forward in that unknown territory and discovering the truth and you stand in the light of truth, you know what needs to be done. It feels like you've been pushing against it like, nope, um, I'm fine, but there's something about, no, there's more. There's more for you, Scorpio. <laughs> and it looks beautiful and I love it. Okay, so this is what I have for you. If it resonates, hit that like button. I will see you in your next reading coming up. Have a good rest of your day. Bye.